right, we have to talk about this right-wing idea of parents' rights. It's literally just fascism. As far as I can tell, parents' rights means allowing parents to control their kids, even in ways that are harmful to their kids. The fact of the matter is, parents and caregivers who reject their children's gender identities are not taking care of their children. Kids whose families refuse to affirm their child's true gender identity are at greatly increased risk of self-harm, substance abuse, homelessness, low academic performance, and other serious mental health issues. Conservatives who claim that their real concern is parents' rights are just trying to use a family-friendly excuse for wanting trans people to not exist. Hmm. You know, it's amazing. You are 100% wrong. I mean, nothing you've said has been right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. So what that person is basically saying is that parents who are trying to be good parents are the fascists? That's fascism? <laughs> I remember a while back, a whole lot of people, myself included, were saying they're coming for the kids next. And people said, oh, relax, relax. You're being paranoid. You're exaggerating. We have to start listening to these people when they tell us what they're going to do next, because they always tell us what they're going to do next. We'll convert your children. Yes, we will. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I, I, I'm i not. I can't figure out the whole flapping back. of It's almost like she's got wings tucked up on her dress and she's trying to fly away or something. I and listen, like 40, 50, 60 years ago, this was pretty rare to see something like this. But now, I mean, you go to Walmart, you see it every time. Anyway, this still shot right here. I just noticed that as whatever is causing the the flaps to go um, as they go out at the widest point, this woman is wider than the shopping cart next door. For that matter, the one she's pushing. This is just not good. It's not good. Anyway, let's keep it moving. That's a huge bitch. Now, listen, I know some people watching are going to be offended by that and say, Mike, why are you picking on that poor lady? She's just out doing a grocery shopping. I don't I mean, I'm offensive. I don't know if you can't take the heat. Right. Listen, I say it all the time in these videos. I like childish, offensive toilet humor. Expect every video watch on this channel to be offensive in some way. And I know most of you guys watching will get it. Some people won't. That's OK. It's OK to be offended. It's OK. Anyway. This next story by CNN. Now, my personal opinion on the mainstream media, such as CNN, MSNBC, um, they are the number one cause of the divide in this country, whether it's racial divide, political divide. It's caused by the mainstream media, places like CNN. So CNN, uh, CNN's Jonathan Blake says, if you're white and you've posted a gift for a meme of a black person to express a strong emotion, you may be guilty of wearing digital blackface, writes John Blake. So, if I want to use a meme, of, that one looks familiar, of a black person, I can't. I have to go find another meme so I won't be accused of wearing digital blackface. Hmm. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oops. Let's see if our old pal Benji can do a better job of explaining it than that article. It says, what is digital blackface? Why don't you tell us, Benji? Roll the film. Hi, Benji here, and I'm going to explain what digital blackface is. Digital blackface is when non-black people use images or emojis of black people to express emotion online, often extreme ones like anger or disbelief. Sometimes images are edited to indicate blackness for this purpose. The intent may be innocent, but digital blackface, like the original use of blackface, exploits blackness through media for entertainment. The overuse of these images also reinforces negative stereotypes 
stereotypes that drive racial discrimination. We can use images of people that are a different race. It's okay to enjoy popular culture. We should just be conscious of the impact the media that we share online may have on communities with less privilege. For example, if you find you always use images of black women to express sass, consider the negative stereotypes you're reinforcing and how this might reflect your own unconscious biases and try a different image next time. Hope that helps. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Damn it. There I go again with the digital blackface. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Jesus. All right, now this next clip, um, most of you probably know that recently we had International Women's Day. Now, I guess you would call all these new women who are all these lovely ladies are celebrating International Women's Day for the for the first time. Roll the film. Today is International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. Hello. Happy International Women's Day. Babe, happy International Women's Day. This International Women's Day, I'm incredibly proud to be a transgender woman. And a very happy International Women's Day to all the wonderful, beautiful, kick-ass women out there. I'm so excited. This is actually my first one out as me. This International Women's Day, we want you to get in the habit of not assuming people's genders. Happy National Women's Day. And most importantly for myself, happy anniversary. Well, happy International Women's Day to you and to everyone else. We all experience womanhood differently. For all the years that we missed, trans women experience womanhood differently. Those years were just as much for us, even when we weren't aware. Trans women are women. If you love women, then today would be a great day to stop attending your Christian church. And do not let anybody tell you that you are not a woman. What the f*** is going on? All right, before we go any further, we don't have any sponsors for today's video. If you would like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. <laughs> what the f*** is wrong with you? I don't know what was wrong with that woman. It looked like her and her good friend Molly went to the club. I, I don't know. She had that teeth grinding going on. I mean, if you know, you know. So anyway, this next story, this is uh this has gone viral. Some of you may have heard it already, but um this is probably the strangest headline we've seen yet. We've seen a lot of strange ones here on this channel. So from the Daily Mail, I'm just gonna read it straight through. Just gonna read it straight through. Make of it what you will. It says, transgender woman posts, posts sobbing selfie in JFK bathroom after claiming female TSA agent punched her testicles and left her in extreme pain. Isn't that what makes a man? Mm, sure, that and a pair of testicles. Listen, I bet five years ago, if you told somebody, oh, in 2023, they're going to be writing news articles with headlines talking about women's testicles, they would have called you crazy. Yet here we are. Wow. Anyway, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up on this one. This is probably the dumbest thing you're going to hear on the interwebs all day. Now, this kid does say something at the end that I 100% agree with. He says we've been lied to and programmed. And young fella, I completely agree with you, but it's not what you're saying. <laughs> anyway, guys, things are clearly getting crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll the film. The truth about Abraham Lincoln. I'm sure most of you guys know who this is. He was the 16th president and did a lot of stuff back in the 1800s. But it's crazy because whenever you search up Abraham Lincoln, it shows you pictures like this. This is how he's drawn and illustrated. But little do y'all know, this is how Abraham Lincoln really looks. Yes, Abraham Lincoln was black. All the times we were taught in school, we were taught Abraham Lincoln was not black. Because they don't want us to know the truth. If you do your research on Abraham Lincoln's skin color, it will tell you that he is black. Lincoln had very dark skin. 
His cheeks were leathery and saffron colored. His hair was dark, almost black. This is the real picture of him right here. Abraham Lincoln was a black man. So do y'all notice that most coins are silver? Except for one coin, the penny. The penny is copper and dark. Abraham Lincoln is on the penny and that is the only coin that has that complexion. Literally every other coin is silver. It's time to wake up. We've been lied to and programmed. You were literally too stupid to insult. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. And you ain't black.